About 12 months ago now, I spoke to a young man about his future in the actuarial career. When he first got into this career, he thought that he would love being an actuary, probably very similar to how you feel right now. At the time I had been talking with him, he had three exams passed and he had been working in the actuarial field for about a year. But the thing is that he was starting to hate his job. The work he was doing just wasn't what he expected it to be. Now, this is something that many future actuaries worry about. They get nervous, they get scared that they're going to spend so much time pursuing the actuarial career and then not like it in the end. It's hard to have 100% confidence in a career that you've never been able to really test out before you start pursuing it, right? So in this video, I'm going to give you some insight, some advice on how you can continue with your actuarial journey and hopefully overcome these fears that you might not like the actuarial field because even if you don't end up liking it in the end, it's really not going to be an end to your career. So I'm Bria, an associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator Community where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates so that they can get their first actuarial job as quickly as possible. Now let's get into this video. Three, two, one, go. Well, first off, there are many reasons I've heard of future actuaries deciding that they actually don't want to continue in the actuarial field. There are so many benefits of the actuarial career, but honestly, it's not for everyone. There are only a specific type of person that actually is going to enjoy the work that actuaries do. So some of the reasons that I've heard in the past were that that person didn't like the exam system. Sometimes it can be a lot of pressure to have to continue to pass exam after exam after exam and especially if you're having trouble passing those exams they often do. You often fail exams somewhere along the way. It can be really demotivating. It can make you feel like you just don't want to do this anymore and that's a common reason I do find that people decide to end their time in the actuarial field. For some other people they find that the work just isn't what they thought it would be. They went into the actuarial field having this expectation about what kind of work they would be doing and their expectation just didn't line up with the type of work they ended up doing so they decide they're going to leave the actuarial career. In other cases I've seen people decide to go into the field just because of the money as many of you will already know actuaries do tend to make a very good salary so some people get into the actuarial field thinking that they're just going to do it because of the money and that's really not the right reason to go into this career because there's a lot more to take into consideration aside from the money and other people get into the career because their parents have pushed them into this. Um, parents sometimes feel that this is a really great career and they want to push their child to go into it just because they feel that they like it but that's not always the case. So there are so many reasons that someone might get into the actuarial field and later deciding that they don't want to continue in it and that's totally fine. But what if this happens to you? Will you be wasting your time if you decide to pursue the actuarial career and then later on decide that you want to leave it? Well the answer is absolutely not. This is never a waste of time because as someone going through the process of becoming a great candidate, a top candidate for actuarial positions, you're going to be gaining so many skills along the way that are going to be valuable in tons of other positions. And aside from that, you're also going to be working in an actuarial role for at least some period of time. And that in itself is going to be such a valuable experience that so many other employers in different fields are going to appreciate. You could get into things like data analysis, you could get into to the financial world, you could get into other areas of insurance, you could get into accounting. There are so many different options for someone that has the skill set that an actuary or someone on the way to becoming an actuary has. You can kind of think of yourself like the Swiss army knife of the corporate world. You have experience with problem solving, being a leader, analysis, technical skills, business skills, math and insurance knowledge. These can all be used in so many different situations and with that that extreme amount of knowledge in your brain, you're going to be a highly sought after candidate for so many other jobs. And honestly, many employers are also going to find the fact that you have passed some actuarial exams as beneficial. Some employers that actually know what the actuarial exams are and how difficult they are, are going to really use that as a way to understand the high level of math knowledge that you have and the high level of insurance knowledge that you have. So honestly, if you have been hesitant to get into the actuarial field because you're worried about whether you're gonna like it or not. You're worried about maybe you're gonna spend so much time pursuing all of these exams, gaining these technical skills, all that sort of stuff, and then you're thinking that 
maybe you'll do all that and then you won't like it in the end well you really don't have to worry because you're going to have so many options in the end another thing is that a lot of the time i find that it's the job that the actuary doesn't like there are so many different areas of actuarial work that you could get into so sometimes a person gets stuck in one job and they feel like because i don't like this job i don't like actuarial work but that's really not the case there are so many fields that you could get into you could get into predictive modeling you could get into regular regulations, pricing, reserving, you could get into consulting or investments. All these are areas that actuaries work in. So if you don't end up liking the specific job that you start in, you can always explore these other areas of actuarial work and you might find that you like them a lot better. For me personally, I thought that I was going to want to get into P&C insurance, that's property and casualty. So insurance that deals with cars and buildings and houses, that kind of thing, property. And I thought that I wanted to get into P&C because in my internship, I really enjoyed the work that I was doing in my PNC insurance internship. But when I did end up getting my first full-time job, it was in life insurance, which is kind of the total opposite of PNC. And I ended up liking that job just as much. So it really wasn't about the type of insurance that I was dealing with. It was more about the specific job and what I was doing in that job. So if you are someone that has been hesitant to pursue the actuarial career because you just don't 100% know that you're gonna like it, well, here is my advice for you. Go for it. You have so much potential, you have so much opportunity open for you, and if you don't end up liking actuarial work in the end, it's not a big deal. You'll still be able to have so many other options and have a flourishing career in something else in the future as well. You can use your actuarial work sort of like a stepping stone into other careers that you will like even more. So I hope this video has helped. If it has, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know and to make sure that it spreads to more future actuaries that kind of need this information. And by the way, if you you are someone that really isn't 100% sure right now if you would like being an actuary, you might want to check out this video right here where I explain five different ways that you can look into different aspects of the actuarial career to help determine if it's going to be something that fits your needs. All right, that's all for now. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!